good y'all it's your boy ross back here again with another video so we're gonna check out roman reigns go sneaker shopping with complex i know you guys have been wanting me to check this video out for a while and i'm finally doing it roman reigns is one of the best things in wwe right now and i love me some sneakers man as you can tell from the shoes behind me i love me some sneakers so it's the best of both worlds we're gonna check this out man this is gonna be pretty dope appreciate all the love and support man road to 50k and let's see what shoes roman rogue reigns likes to wear i've seen a few uh pair of shoes he likes to wear in the ring so let's see what he likes to wear on a casual day With a nice watch okay okay Looking like a Samoan Crip. I like What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in Miami at Soul Flight with the WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns. What's up, man? Going to do some sneaker shopping today. Going to see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then hopefully he's going to buy some sneakers. Let's do it. Let's go. Roman Reigns doesn't buy sneakers. He just takes them because he's the tribal chief. You, you give him the shoes, and you be thankful that he even came to the store. He doesn't pay for it. What's wrong with you? Do better. Let's see what they got Roman here, man. grew up an athlete, you know, superior defensive tackle. I want to know, like, high school and college, was it training sneakers or, like, casual sneakers off the field? I think a little bit of both. Okay. Um, either way, man, it was just hard. Roman Reigns was named... Uh, was named to the All-ACC First Defensive Team in 2006 while playing tackle at Georgia Tech. Oh, that's pretty cool. By the time that. I was 15, I was already wearing a 15. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I, you know, I went through the whole clown feet phase. And back then, you know, in the early 2000s, late, you know, 90s, we didn't have, like, all the different apps and, and the right. Internet and stuff like that. So, literally, my mom would have to call up East Bay. We'd have the magazine. Yeah. Yes. What y'all know about East Bay, man? Comment down below if y'all remember the East Bay era where you would get the magazine sent to your house like every month. And that's where people would order the shoes from the magazine. Who remembers that? Comment down below if you remember the East Bay era, man. That was such a cool time in, in, in just sneaker history, bro. Like, East I Bay. I don't know who did it. Like somebody got us the subscription oh, for East Bay, and you know, at first we started doing it, and, and we heard no a bunch. Like, nah, those, those are out. We don't have those. We'd have to have like three or four different selections. But like the the second or third pick, I'd get the ones that I wanted. But they, they it was tough size. They 15. weren't ever the ones. Man. That, that's mm -hmm. the thing. They that's funny the though. Ones. East Bay used to show up, and we used to just thumb through the magazine yeah. and, and the and the pamphlet to get sneakers. Another thing I want to talk about is like. You were a football player. Football signature sneakers, the Bo Jacksons, the Deion Sanders, you know, we, the Marshall Fox are actually right here. Yeah. What signature athlete sneakers did you like growing up? It was a little bit of everything. Um, you know, I mean, Jordan's obviously everybody's into that. That's mm -hmm. like a cultural thing. But the Griffies, and, and mm. it's weird because we were talking earlier, but yeah. like. I've never had a pair of Griffies. I always thought they was uh, pretty cool, you know, pretty cool shoe, but I don't know. I've never had a pair of Griffies, man. I think people need to put a lot more respect on Griffey, man. Right. He, he was like, I don't know, man, maybe it's just my age group. Classic um, shoe. But yeah, just the athlete and mm -hmm. who he was and, and like within the game in America, I just feel like in sports. Like, yeah. And I think his, his sneaker transcended too. 2017, you have a match with Braun Strowman and you wrestle in the Nike Special Forces boot. Yeah, yeah. And people went crazy wow. online about it. It was like, oh, Roman's wearing like sneakers and it's kind of like a boot sneaker hybrid. Wow. Did you expect? I didn't even, didn't even know that. Did not even know that. Cause I know now he, uh, you know, He'll come out in some J's and stuff, which I I, I think that's pretty dope. But I, I did not know that. The chatter to be like that. And do you remember that match and how those felt to wrestle in? Uh, and so, no, I didn't expect, like, you know, all the sneakerheads to come out and, like, yeah. really, uh, you know, kind of see that. That's pretty and, cool, and man. I did not know that. It, that's dope. The main thing was for me is because, like, the regular boots that I wear, they come up a bit higher. You know, they're like mm -hmm. an 8-inch, 9-inch that comes up, like, you know, right below the calf. Yeah. So I had to, like 
put in ankle braces and kind of make, you know, make it work for me for the performance. But man, they felt good. Yeah. They were lighter. The sole was a lot more, a, a bit more cushiony. Those, those Nike boots are nice too that I wear. Um, but man, the white soles, yeah. I think that's a classic look. That, that's like, that's gonna be in, you know, that, I don't think it's ever going out of style. Roman in store. February 2019, storefront. obviously a huge moment. You come back to Raw, you announce that leukemia is in mm -hmm. remission, and you're wearing Jordans. Obviously, the sneakers is a secondary part of the story, but talk I about- Didn't even know that either, man. That's crazy. Did not know that. That moment, I think it like speaks to how- Because we all know, like when it came to wrestling, there was one person that stayed wearing J's and that was always Shane McMahon. It wasn't too many wrestlers that was wearing like some dope kicks. I mean, you would see, I, I know when Kofi was with the, uh, you know, not when he was with, when he got with the New Day, he definitely started wearing different type of kicks. I know I've seen him wear um, some phone posits as well. So he definitely, you know, has dibbled and dabbled in that. So I'm not sure of any other wrestlers, as I'm sure. So comment down below. Let me know if you've seen any other recent wrestlers wearing, like, different type of Nikes or different type of popular brand shoes other than just, like, wrestling boots. The sneakers we wear give us confidence. Did you feel any of that that moment? Man, I mean, in so many ways, I felt so much confidence right. and, and just so much uh, gratitude, I guess, mm -hmm. uh, within that moment. Um, man, it was special, and I could get into it, but it'd probably take way too long right. to explain all the emotions. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, that, that I think that was one of those situations where I was able to kind of come out of the Roman character mm -hmm. and, and just be Joe. Okay. And, and that's why you saw me the way I was. That's mm -hmm. why I was wearing Jordans, you, yeah. wearing, you know, probably wearing- uh, The fours. Yeah, Ooh. just wearing, you know, just kind of a casual look for the most hey. part, you know, as a Roman character, especially earlier on, oh, I stayed kind of in the fatigues like and the boots mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But, you know, from that moment that, uh, you know, I kind of took that 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 character armor off and exposed, you know, the, the real me yeah. um, and gave him a piece of me. Love that. And you've got, recently, you've got a lot of sneakers. Is there one that sticks out that is your favorite? Um, I, I mean, a lot. I mean, as far as Jordans are concerned, I like the ones, I like the fours, yeah. um, the 11s. Seen them in those. Classic. Of course, um, of course. Even here, like, uh, I think the, the yeah. six rings. Six rings, yeah. yeah. man, so like, there's a, there's a newer cool. pair where it's- I wouldn't wear them personally. If, if you guys are listening, there's yeah. a newer pair. Okay. Um, and I think it's like, this is all red. And this is black, and then yeah, I think it's a white sole. But okay. there's just something about this red layer down here. Oh, okay. It's just fresh, man. Okay. And, and it's sold out on Nike, so I was looking. I think on like the Goat app or something okay. like that. But uh, maybe, maybe uh, my people will. All right. You know. Hey, Roman's people, the chief has spoken. Get him the goddamn shoes. The hell's wrong with you? Jesus. Make it easy for putting him. it out there. Because we'll put it on. We'll put it on uh, Fox. Okay. <laughs> Roman, you come from a family with a long history in wrestling, but also big sneakerheads, the Usos, mm -hmm. and The Rock has his Under Armour deal. Who in the family in that lineage do you think has the best sneaker game? My cousin, yeah, the Usos, they definitely, uh, you know, have a nice selection. They've been they've been rocking the ones a mm -hmm. lot for a long uh, time. Yeah. Dwayne, I mean, he has his own, you know. The it, fight is fixed with yeah, him. Yeah, you know, it's a, that's a different story. Mm -hmm. he, he's making his own stuff at Under Armour. But uh, oh, wow. I mean, as far Didn't as know that. the diversity and the, and the throwbacks, and I think, you know, connecting with like the culture mm -hmm. uh, of shoes, um, I think I'm the guy. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, you heard uh, it. Let, let it be known, the tribal chief is also the chief of the sneakers. I love it. I love it. And oh, by the way, I've actually seen a few pair of these shoes that are like displayed that I actually have in the back. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like I've seen uh, several of some nine sevens, nine eights that I actually have right in this room right now. So that's pretty cool. It makes me feel good to know that the shoes that I got are also being displayed because they're heat. Uh, you know, and, and the the proof is is every Friday. Yeah, I mean, Facts. I've, yep. That this is the first Ooh. time I've wore these once, but I don't think they went. They made it to TV. I put them on like my Instagram, but uh, I wore these for a purpose the other day. So 
Got it. There's a bunch of sneakerheads in the locker room. Kofi Kingston, Shane McMahon. Yeah, Is it definitely competitive Shane. in the locker room? Have they taken notice to? And I was just saying that Kofi Kingston too. You wearing every Friday or, or what? Well, they did, they've definitely taken notice. Um, I don't. I wouldn't say competitive, but respect. I okay. Think, you know what I mean? Because uh, there might be some competition here and there, mm -hmm. especially for the guys like Kofi. I mean, that, that's a different level because it's within the performance and it's a part of his gear. Yeah. Um, and you know, it's something that yeah. he competes in. Um, but I think, you know, the way I utilize him, I, I think it's all love because people want to see, you know. Kofi could give him a run for his money on, on the kicks. And definitely Shane. Don't sleep on Shane. Shane be wearing the retro heat. Like, he, you wouldn't think he'd be wrestling it in. No one would be wrestling in. Like, Shane be having the heat. Everybody wants to see a nice, fresh pair of Jays. Uh, you Always. Know, so anytime, I think anyone who who is in this world or has I like this, them orange uh, phone posits you know, behind uh, love for, Roman. for kicks. Um, they looking pretty it's all, sexy. It's all love Schmexy. when they see them. Definitely. Well, we talked about everything. Now's the easy part. Browse the shelves. See what you're going to take home. That's the best part right now. That's Let's the best it. part, man. Hey, the Nike reaction nice. A lot of kids, so we gotta we gotta dress them up. Let's do these here. Of course. Let's do the Royals down there. Of course. They can match me, yeah. Oh man, yeah. Man. Gotta check these out for my little girl. There we go. Man, this is my wife's favorite color right here. So let's do these. Ooh, okay. Right. And then these got a little girl written all over. Let's do these right here. Okay. Now. I'm so seeing since these are about to drop, get. I gotta have these right here. Yeah, of course. Always. I want to get some ones. So I want to add to my collection. I want something that's gonna pop. You got anything in the back for a 15? I think we can cook you up something. Side you three. better, goddammit. It's the fucking tribal chief. What's wrong with you? 15, I got you. Clowns. No, he's the, the crypt tribal chief because he's all <laughs> cripped out and all this blue. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so any of these gonna work for you? I had these 15 Jesus. in the back. Just let me know. Christmas. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Got something for the holidays here. Christmas. I'll take them on. Gotcha, brother. Okay. So your total for everything is 15, 51, and 50 cents. That's it? That's actually not 15, 51. Roman went kind of light. Man. 15, 51, bro. That's. It's not bad. That's really not bad. I'm sure there's like celebrities and stuff that be spending three, four thousand on shoes at one time. So and he got shoes for his family. It wasn't just only him. So I think that's pretty cool. That's not bad. Because you gotta also consider he bought like kid shoes and women's shoes, which are more cheaper than just the regular men men's shoes. Most people, if they just go shoe shopping, they buy nothing except shoes for themselves so and those usually are the, the higher price ones especially if they're male you're all set thank you for everything we'll get you backed up we'll get you out of here thank you man all these nice gifts yeah man there you go not not bad at all can't get mad at this man so the, the champ came kicks. through. Thanks so much for taking the time. Yeah, man. Thanks for having me. Make sure you check him out every Friday night on SmackDown and headlining WrestleMania April 10th and April 11th. Thanks again. Appreciate you, bro. Let me help. You better help the goddamn tribal chief carry his bags to his vehicle. I'm stupid. But, yo, this video was dope, man. This was hella dope. I love me some sneakers. I love me some kicks. And Roman Reigns is roman reigns it's the best thing on wwe television so comment down below what is your favorite pair of kicks it doesn't have to be jordan's it doesn't have to be nike related whatever what's your favorite pair of shoes to wear man i actually want to know uh you know what you guys are interested in when it comes to like fashion and stuff like that so what what's your favorite pair of shoes to wear it doesn't matter what it is there's no wrong or right answer here i would love to get y'all opinion on that appreciate all the love and support road to 50k appreciate y'all kicking it with me i'll see y'all on the next one peace